how are you today? It's a beautiful weather out and I hope it is the same where you are. Okay, so today we're going to be walking you through how we made one of our own bespoke pieces. Oh yes, this is a sleeveless top, yeah, it's a sleeveless peplum um, top, right, made with single crochet mesh. So this means that um, even a beginner can work this top. It is a very simple top to work. All the stitches you know how, you need to know how to do are chains and single crochet stitches. So before I go walk you through how we started and ended and everything in between, are you new to our channel? Do go subscribe to um, to subscribe to our channel on a weekly basis. We bring you brand new videos. We inspire you on all of the possibilities of crochet. We walk you through how we made one of our own bespoke pieces. We demystify what one um, celebrity or another wore. We walk you through patterns. We draw patterns. We uh, talk stitches. We give you tips. We give you tricks and everything crochet. All right. We just make your crochet life really, really easy. Now, um, we have our galleries up on Instagram for our wedding day apparel. We have those at Makisudi Weddings. And then for our everyday corporates and casuals and accessories and the rest, we have those at Makisudi Models. Do well to follow, do well to like, do well to leave a nice comment and do well to share, share, share our content. We really love that. All right, so let's begin. What did we do here? Yeah, it's a blouse, right? It's got um, a front, it's got a back, it's got a peplum, and then it's got this beautiful neckline right here. So we started from the armpit um, region, right? I, I like to start here. What this does for me is that it gives me the ability to um, do all of the drama that one wants to do from the armpit region and then come back up and create another drama if you want to. Oh, just keep it simple. All right, so right here, this is the point. Mm -hmm. So you chain the number of chains that's going to take you around the individuals. Um, I'll call that, I'll call that the point just above the bust, right? So that is the armpit actually, because that point right there is actually narrower than the bust region. All right, but not as narrow as the diaphragm. So you cannot use the diaphragm measurement. All right. So essentially, that's what you do, and then you walk up or rather walk down okay now note because i used um, a single crochet mesh right you're going to have to determine what number of uh, chains you want uh, to uh you know to use with your mesh we use three chains in between each single crochet stitch so because of that it means you're going to be ha you're going to have to work um, multiples of four stitches so that's what we did here multiples of four stitches multiply that by two because whatever you have up front you want to have do you want to have same down back all right so yeah that's what we did so those number of chains and then you walk your um uh, single crochet stitch chains single crochet stitch chains all the way to the navel point we walked all that all the way to the navel point at the navel point was when we started these our increases all right to give it this peplum effect so you choose your points what points do you want to walk your increases at we choose one two three Right, so uh, the sides and then the the uh, center and the back. That's where we choose to work our increases, and then you work that gradually, make it gradual, make it seamless, make it even. Meaning, whatever it is you do to the sides, do the same to the front and the back, and then however long you want to work this, it's up to you. We just wanted it to stop just at the waist region above the hip, so that's exactly where this stops for. The wearer, all right. So you can walk all this all up into a dress. You can make it a mini dress. You can make it, uh, you know, knee length dress. You could make it an ankle length dress. You can go to town. Then when we were done with that part, we came back up to walk the front panel and the back panel. We started out with the back panel, walked up, right? Created our armhole depth. Yeah created room for the neckline yeah i'm sure i've sure shown us how to do all of that if you check our tips and tricks uh, folders all of those are in there and then we work the front panel front panel we work that up as well joined both the back panel and the front panel at the shoulders right here before we started our edging our edging as usual we kept it simple uh, slip stitches and chains two rows each in black black shimmers to be precise we wanted a little shine all right so we did that 
So go to the, the armpit, um, yeah, to the armhole, um, yeah, the armhole uh, edging, the neckline edging, and the baseline edging. That's what we did to that. It's a really simple top to work. Now, is there any part of this, uh, what I've explained here, that was unclear to you? Do let us know. We'll do our best to explain something a little bit more explicit. On the other hand, you don't have the time, you love the pattern, you love the blouse, you probably even have additions, you know, some other things you want to add to the idea, but you do not have the time to work it. Do let us know, and we will do that for you for a token. Yeah, we will do that for you for a token. Now, if you also want to buy the pattern, pattern available for a token. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel.